Yeah. yeah. Someone was still working, Steve. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> I'm going to turn the switch off. Yeah, liquid lunch, yeah. <laughs> anyway, speaking of working, yeah. let's go. Thank you, Steve. Uh, just starting off with some team news. I just want to ask you, first of all, how is Danilo after coming off against Brentford? Yeah, it's, um, it's not as bad as what we, we feared, to be honest. Um, I think when anyone comes off with a... The feeling uh, that it's a muscle injury, you, you sometimes sort of fear the worst, especially with the, the timing of the season and, and how little uh, time is left. But um, but scan results were, were fairly positive. Um, and we're hoping that we return sooner sooner rather than later. Are you expected to be in the squad for Southampton? Um, not sure, to be honest. But like I said, we, we was a bit inconclusive really on, um, on when he'll be back and, and the timing of... Uh, Timing of, of uh, days, if you like, between uh, Brentford and, and, and Southampton and also the timing of the season. You know, you're, you're maybe doing things sli slightly different, but um, um, difficult to say a definite yes or no. Just check on a few other players. Mm. Brennan Johnson, you mentioned that. Yeah, similar to Danilo, really, yeah. So a little bit uh, inconclusive, but, uh, but again, everyone's doing everything to, to get... Uh, to get as many players available as, as possible. And just checking on Gustavo Scarpa as well, it has his recovery. Yeah, he's getting closer. Um, Gustavo obviously been out with a calf injury and um, um, has proved to be a little while now. And um, but uh, but he's he's back on on the grass and he's not in full training yet. But um, but hopefully again sooner rather than later. And just finally on the players, Dean Henderson coming out yeah. this week about his injury and his mm. operation. And quite gutting for him because yeah. he's obviously a big part of this team early in the season. Yeah, and, and and with Dean as well, he sort of obviously he's on loan from from uh, Manchester United, but uh, he'd really um, bought into um, the the football club and even even the city. You know, sort of uh, you know moving here and, and and making it a a permanent base for the for the loan showed that he really wanted to be part of. Uh, um, on on and off the pitch, so um, so we've had great commitment from Dean, even when he hasn't been available in the last few months. So it's a pity that um, that his season has absolutely ended um, through through surgery. But uh, but he has to now, um, you know, focus on his re recovery. And uh, we have a good working relationship with with United and communication. And um, obviously, it's still fresh after the injury in terms of what the the plans will will be. But uh, um, yeah, we we wish him wish him well, really, on his recovery. Just looking at this final stretch of games, we've mm. spoken a lot recently about belief. Mm. I wonder how you manage that belief after the highs of Brighton and then kind of yeah. after the Brentford result with so many games. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and I think that's the key. You know, you, the the very contrasting emotions in 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 a few days. You know, we we were desperate to get that first win for a while against Brighton, and um, and I think you could see that. Um, even though we enjoyed the win, of course, we we never got too high from it because we knew that the, the next game was coming quickly. And you could see how, how we played the game, apart from how it ended, that, that there was a real determination to to try and get another positive result. And it obviously um, that wasn't to be, uh, and it was you know a difficult one for all of us to to take. Um, but as you said in in the question, it's the it's keeping the balance between the highs and the lows and. And and carrying on, you know, there's, um, um, you know, the the next game is still going to be the next game, and um, you know, the importance um, is what was always going to be really high. Um, we would have loved to have gone into it with um, a better result than what we ended up getting at Brentford, but um, but we haven't, and we have to, we have to, um, and we have picked ourselves up and um, and get on with it. Play Southampton on the Monday. Is it an advantage playing after mm. everyone, or can it be a bit, you know, depending on the results? Depends. Uh, again, yeah, yeah, but like we the, with this Premier League schedule, you you sort of get used to uh, playing at um, I won't say abnormal times, but times where um, can have a um, um, a real influence, um, or or other results and, and, and games and schedules of them can have a have a real influence. So. 
Um, yeah, it's just our turn to be last um, in this round of games, and sometimes we've been first, and sometimes we've been the classic three o'clock on a on a Saturday, and um, and it's in amongst every everything else. It's it's just like everything. You just have to, you know, it's coming. You have to plan accordingly, believe in your plan, stick to it, and um, and when the game comes in the end, when when you know the ref blows the whistle, you still have to go and play. So. Um, uh, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. I wish we were playing sooner. Not not because there's other games being played. I wish we were desperate to play. And um, you know we've um, there's a real good good mood in the camp again. Um, and uh, the game can't really come quick enough. Just finally from you, Steve. Um, it was announced that Daniel Pedence wasn't going to get charged by the FA after the alleged splitting incident mm. towards Brennan. Uh, we haven't really we haven't really thought about it. To be fair, it was dealt with on on uh, on the day and. Um, didn't really become our, our issue after that, and it's not something we've we've even discussed. So I wasn't aware of that, and uh, like I said, we're focusing on ourselves and and uh, what we're trying to do. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Uh, Steve, afternoon. How are uh, you? Fine, thank you. Uh, Thirteen Premier League games without a clean sheet. Mm. Uh, obviously, that's making it harder for you to win yeah. games naturally. What are you doing to to address that? Because that would really help you. Yeah, I think um, it's it's first of all it's something that you, you face up to, like all of the things that haven't gone to, to plan this this year. It's it's something you don't hide hide away from and ignore questions or swerve questions. You you say yeah, that's something that um, we we would have loved to have been better stat and and would still like to improve on it, even though there's four games left and would be really helpful. Um, but I think you have to analyse um, types of goals and. Um, and sources of, of, of goals and um, um, that's what we're trying to do and then what you do you look at the next opponent and try and match it, match it all up so I think for sure you, you do get punished in this league you know for, for any um, any mistakes any not being perfect in, in, in doing something talking about conceding goals so defending you know the, the chances of, of the coming back to, to punish you is a lot higher than um, than any other league, I think. So, um, so they're just constant reminders that we have to be, you know, uh, at our very best as much as we can. And, and if we do that, you know, we you, like you said, you give yourselves the best chances of getting the results. And, and when we have had positive results this year, um, that's been that's been the case. So, um, yeah, like everything else, we just got to keep keep going. We have got to keep believing. Um, we're at home in the next game. Um, everybody knows that the atmosphere that we've had, and, and then even the positivity that we're really grateful to, and it's been a massive help. How the supporters have been this year, because it can be, and often is very different. Um, but to um, for us, we we are always looking forward, learning along the way, not not um, hiding away from things we haven't done well, but always trying to rectify as much as we can to to continue to to improve and um, improving. Next up is against Southampton at the City Ground. Which we know will be the atmosphere um, that we need, and uh, we've got to do do our pitch in, uh, do our part on the pitch in terms of creating our own atmosphere on there, and um, that's that's where the focus is. Of course, you found a way to win against Southampton mm. back in January, was it? Um, what yeah. did you take from that? What's happened? Felt about three years ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, what did you take from that? Maybe that you can make to work in your advantage again. Yeah, I think. Um, I think a lot of things are different for both both teams, um, and the obvious is is home and uh, and away. Um, so now I wouldn't say we're looking at that too much. Um, I think it's more about the present. It's more about the context of of the the, the situation um, where the team's at and and what we what we want to do in the game. And um, yeah, um, not not really looking back at that at all, really. Um, Sam Allardyce has joined the fray. Mm. One of your rivals. They're obviously hoping there's that new manager bounce, mm. so it may yet have an impact on mm. you. You got any thoughts about his return at this late stage? Well, I think it, it, like you're right, they are a rival at the mo a moment amongst um, some other teams as as, as well, um, and of course we'll all have an impact on on each other in terms of of what we all do. Um, but what what we're just focusing on is ourselves, um, and um, in the end, that's going to determine where. Where, where we end up as well all the other teams are around us and even the teams in different parts of, of, of the league um, we're all still in a position really where we can uh, look after our, our, our own business and that will be the um, the most important thing on, on final results so um, yeah there's enough to focus on internally 
um, and uh, and that's what I and we are doing. Although he is a big presence, isn't he, in, in lots of ways, and he's not been backwards and coming forwards to express his faith in his own abilities, shall we say. I mean, have you got any thoughts about what he brings to the party, as it were? Well, like I said, we're focusing on, our, on, on ourselves. I have respect for every... Um, every manager and, and I have to say particularly the ones who have been doing it for um, so many games and years because um, you know I, I, having done it for a few years myself now and I'm trying to understand what it takes um, the, the guys who have done it over a long period of time is um, at, at any level by the way um, you'll only you'll only get respect respect from me um, however my focus and our focus here is on us is on Nottingham Forest on the next game um, one of four um, that we are determined to, to do really well in and um, that's the only thing I'm thinking about Last one from me obviously we're very aware of, of the difficulties you've had away from home mm. does it therefore put an added burden an added pressure on these home games I mean you've risen to that challenge mm. No it doesn't it, it's not, never a burden it's never a burden to play at the, at the city ground um, uh, it's always an honour and a privilege to be part of um, what the home game at the city ground is, and um, and to think that we're there um, when games are even more important um, is something that we have to relish and be proud to be part of. Um, I've been lucky enough now, even though I've only been here eighteen months, so we've had some 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 big games there last season and and this season. And um, what's been brilliant so far is that everybody in the stadium has risen to the challenge, whether their support. What we've got to do is rise to the challenge of, of the game uh, and, and, and dealing with Southampton, our opponent, having the impact that we want to have as our own team. Because we know when we get it right, the supporters always get it right and, and it becomes a difficult place to, to play. But that's in our hands to, to create that and we don't take it for granted. You've already said we've had much more um, positive results at home than away. But we, we don't take it for granted. We don't think it's just going to happen. Um, because all of them po positive results has been really well earned, um, but it hasn't been through the, uh, it's the lack of support because it's been incredible. And even in the games where we've been fighting back and trying to get results, you know, if anything, in in the the more difficult games at home, the support has been even better. And um, you know, we're 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 lucky that that's the case. Um, so um, we'll do our very best to to honour that and to make sure that um, um, that we we make the fans proud. All the very best. You too. Thank you. Hi, Steve. Um, I just wanted to touch on the context there. We touched on it being at home. Mm. We touched on it being four left. When you look at those four, is this the match you've got to target? It's the next match. Um, and um, I think there's been a lot of said about um, a must-win game. What we're focusing on, the mindset we've got, is, is how we win. Because um, we desperately want to win. And that's a, a massive objective for, for, for the group, uh, the only objective. Um, but it's the how we win is the important, because that's the bit that will make make it happen. So, um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at. So you, you're right to say there's four games left, but we were only focused on the next one. Um, because the, out of the four, they, they give you the same, three points or not, one or zero. Um, but uh, but everything's now on, on, on Southampton, the city ground, and um, doing whatever it takes, whatever that is, to to get the the result that we we want and need. You, you joke there that January feels like about three years ago. Mm. Have, you, have you felt these last few months aging? It was a joke, so don't look into it too much. But uh, um, yeah, it's it's. Um, yeah, I'm fe I, I, I love working here. You know, it's and an, and actually, when you don't get the results that you want, and you go on on. Um, a poor run I always think I want to be more visible more transparent um, and uh, you know the best version that, that I can I can be and I want the, the lads to be to be the same because there's, there's if you if you like Brentford for example it could be a difficult defeat to, to take and, it, and it, it was and it is but the only way to deal with it is to respond in the next game and or, or even before that in the next training session in the next meeting in the next whatever at the training ground it's um and I've said all along this season, you know, um, for me personally, it's it's easy to to show a good light, show yourself in a good light when you're winning games, and um, it's been very important to me to show a good light in in difficult moments and stand up and be counted because I think that's what a real leader does, and I think that's what um, that's what you should do as well. So um, um, 
I've enjoyed all of that, you know, even though sometimes you don't enjoy the results, but I've, I've enjoyed standing up and being counted for, for you know, this football club and uh, that will continue till the very end. Thank you very much. You too, Hi. thank you. Cameras, oh, Jonathan. Hey. Hi, John. Do you envisage the possibility of working with Dean again in the future? Hard to, to say. Um, I've enjoyed working with him. We've all enjoyed Dean and, and the personality that he is. And obviously what, what you guys see and the supporters see mainly is is when he's is, he's been in goal for us. Um, but um, there's more to him than, than that. He's a real good uh, professional, really cares, fantastic mentality of, of winning and wanting to be the best. And so I say we've really enjoyed working with him and we're grateful to what... Uh, he's given us and what he will continue to give us because he's, he's still I'm sure will be, be around and quite visible like I said we're, um, we're, we're well the medical teams particularly working together with, with United and, and ourselves in, in what's right for him and what they want our contribution to be if, if anything because obviously it's, he's a Man United player um, but I know that um, I know that he will be with us until the end in terms of support and um and what what he would what he would want. So I'm I'm sure you'll see him around at some stage. Is Ryan in a position where he can start? Ryan Yates. We'll see. We managed to obviously. It was great to get him on. We 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 could only play him for um, a certain amount last last week, which we we maximised. Um, in terms of again, it's just great to get him back in in the mix as it has been with with one or two others in recent weeks. The likes of Cheku as well, uh, Tai Wu. So. Um, yeah, he's certainly getting back up to real speed, um, and we'll see what contribution he's allowed to make in in the next few games. Thanks, Jonathan. Can we have cameras off, please? Written section embargo till ten thirty.